just another night in the Big 12 Conference. Welcome into Wednesday's edition of the Big 12 Minute. I'm your host, Mitch Gerber. Nine out of 10 Big 12 teams have officially played in at least one overtime game during league play this season. That, of course, is thanks to last night's matchup between Iowa State and Baylor. In a shootout, the Bears defeated Iowa State 100-91 to in Waco. Baylor was led offensively by sophomore Jonathan Motley, who racked up a team-high 27 points on 10 of 17 from the field. Elsewhere last night, Texas defeated West Virginia 85-78, to marking a season sweep for the Longhorns over the Mountaineers. Kansas State defeated TCU 63-49 behind Justin Edwards' 17-point performance in Fort Worth. This evening, it's another great night of hoops in America's toughest conference. Oklahoma will head to Lubbock for a showdown with the Red Raiders beginning at 8 p.m. over on ESPNU. On the women's side, five conference matchups will take place beginning at 6 p.m. Central Time when the Sooners travel to Morgantown to take on the Mountaineers. For a complete list of tonight's matchups, visit Big 12 Sports. Dot com. For the third week in a row and the first time in Big 12 history, the same three Oklahoma gymnasts swept the weekly gymnastics awards. Chase Capps, Mackenzie Wofford, and Nicole Learman grabbed this week's weekly awards. Congratulations on an outstanding record-breaking achievement. Just a quick reminder, if you're in need of some Big 12 championship tickets, Head on over to Big12Sports.com and get yours today. That's going to wrap things up for today's edition of the Big 12 Minute. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Mitch Gerber.